You know, if you ever find yourself in downtown Hilo and you want to learn well, about all kinds of cool things in regards to the ocean, you got to come here. And I want to introduce Justin. Justin, first of all, where are we? What are we right now? We are at Moku Papapa Discovery Center, and our whole job here is to share about the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands, which... I gotta say, though, when I came in here, this wonderful building right in Hilo, I came in, I was like, whoa, this is amazing. How long have you guys been at this location? You know, we've only been here for about three years, and it took a whole year of renovation. The Kernans were really generous, mm -hmm. and as they retired their business, oh. they, we, we managed to come in. Yeah, and it's a beautiful thing. I know there's an aquarium in back. You got upstairs, you got all kinds of class. But the idea, and I see kids running around, the education component. Well, what is that like, and especially sparing the knowledge and, and to the kids around here in Hawaii? Well, because the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands are protected as a marine national monument, Papahana Mukuk, mm -hmm. yeah, and very remote and sensitive area, we try to bring the place to the people and do as much hands-on, interactive, immersive uh, experiences so that they can really feel and understand why it's so important. And, and I gotta ask, as an educator, when you see young adults, uh, kids, and they come in here and they're able to touch and learn things, but what is it like when you see that 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 that's, that energy and then more importantly the, the the quest for knowledge come out? It's inspiring. Uh, actually, most of the time I'm humbled by how much amazing work is already happening here, wow. and so I'm constantly getting new stories about what folks are doing, what this place inspires them to go out and do, or. We'll also try to connect them to the great folks who are already doing great work here. Cool. Well, coming up on Living 808, we're actually going to head upstairs, and you're going to put me to work on some of the things. But real quickly, uh, hours, if anyone wants to get more information, there's a website. What will be the best thing to do? Yeah. Well, first of all, we're free. Yes. And we're open Tuesday through Saturday. And we're also free for classes, for schools, uh, whether local program. or international. So folks can contact me and... Uh, and we'll set it up. Awesome. All right. Well, we'll have more on that in Living 808. Again, if you're in downtown Hilo, this is a place to come and check out. Yeah, you know, the cool thing, everywhere we were on Hawaii Island that day, we were saying, hey, we're heading down, and they're like, oh, they had just moved recently. Oh. So now they're literally right on Bayfront. They've taken over this two-story oh. building. It's a brand new educational center, and as I said, it was free. And there were all these kids coming in, and they, I was doing one of the events, you'll see it later on Living 808, and they're like, can we do it too? And they're like, yeah, go ahead. It's such a hands-on learning experience. Cool. So, Very yeah, cool. fun place. And free. Free. Get over that. Hey, kids, parents, head on down. And as you said, schools too, they invite them to come down as well. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, my apologies. I shortchanged us a pa. Yes. It's moku pa pa pa. Yes. Kind of felt like a Nicolas Cage in Honeymoon in Vegas. <laughs> is it kapa a ah, ah, or is it kapa a ah, ah, ah? It's moku pa pa pa. And two different meanings, I'm sure. And the meaning will come up a little bit later on Living 808.